Hello and welcome to Meraki Minute. Today I will show you how to onboard a Catalyst 9000 on the Meraki dashboard to enable the cloud monitoring capabilities. At the end of this video, you will be familiar with the onboarding process and start onboarding switches yourself. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to check on the prerequisites for the cloud onboarding. We will need a Catalyst 9200, 9300 or 9500 with an iOS version of at least 17.3.1 with payload encryption. The switch must be reachable by SSH from a front panel port on the default VRF with a user with the highest privileges. Other services that need to, to be active are the IP routing, the DNS, and the DNS name lookup, as well as the NTP. Finally, the switch must be able to reach the Mirai Cloud on port 443. Anyway, we will see that if any of these prerequisites is not met, the onboarding app will tell us exactly what needs to be fixed. Now we are ready, let's begin. So we are on the dashboard and we are on the currently on the organization overview page. The first thing we need to do is to go on organization and inventory. This is where we will be downloading the Catalyst 9000 devices onboarding app. So if we click on learn now, we will select which operating system we are currently on and we are on a Windows machine and we click on download. The onboarding app is the application that once installed will allow us to onboard our Catalyst 9000 device on the Miraki dashboard. So we have downloaded the app and if we click on it in a few minutes we will be installing the application and we will be ready to launch the onboarding. So let's wait a few minutes until this process is completed and there you go the cloud monitoring application is launching. So the cloud monitoring onboarding app is what allows us to connect our Catalyst device to the Meraki cloud. The first thing that is asking is our API key. So we will go back to the dashboard and organization API in the webhooks. It's where we will be generating a new API key. So we click on API keys and access generate a new API key and we will get a new API key. Remember that this API key allows you to do all the operation via API that you would normally do with the dashboard. So it must be stored safely. So once we copy the API key, we go back to the onboarding app and we paste it to the cloud monitoring for Catalyst onboarding tool. We click on start. And we will get an invalid API key, but this is because it takes a few minutes before the API key is actually available for use. So I waited for a minute and now the API key is working. And the first thing I get asked is which organization I would like to onboard my Catalyst 9300 in. And in my case, it's called Meraki Lab Italy. I click on next. And then I get asked IP addresses where my switches are reachable to. And in my case, my switch is at 10.1.13.100. But if I had more than one and I wanted to do a massive onboarding, so onboarding more than one device, I will just pull all the IP addresses and put them in here. So uh, let's remove the, the second line. Um, and let's insert the username and password of the admin user that will be used to onboard the devices. Uh, this is the local user on the Catalyst switch, as well as the enable password. If we click on next, then the next thing the application will try to do is to establish an SSH connection to the switch. So we click on start SSH connection and we see that it's working. And if we click on the arrow, we see exactly which are the steps that are taken to assure that the SSH connection is working. If we click on next, we go 
to the pre-check configuration step, which is where the onboarding app will check that all the prerequisites that we saw at the beginning of this video are actually valid. So once we hit start pre-check, all these prerequisites will start to be checked on all the devices that we want to onboard. The process will take a few seconds, and if everything is correct, then we will go and get a message ready to onboard, and we will can click on next. The next step is to select which network I want to, this device to be assigned to, and I will select Roma Transit in my case. So now we reached a very important step, which is to apply the configuration changes that allow our Catalyst 9300 to build a, a secure tunnel towards the Meraki cloud. And the onboarding app allows us to see these changes before they are actually applied to the device. So if you click on show details, these are the exact uh, lines that will be applied to the switch configuration in order to build this tunnel. So we can navigate through these different configurations, but once we are fine with them, we can click on close then we select the switch, in this case we only have one, and we click on next. Here the onboarding app will ask us for confirmation before applying any change, and we click on save, and all these configurations will be applied to the Catalyst switch. It will take a few minutes, and at the end of this process the Catalyst switch will be onboarded on the Meraki dashboard. So let's wait until that process completes. And then we will go and move to the dashboard to see the actual switch on the dashboard. The process has been completed. So let's move back to the dashboard. If you recall, we placed the switch into the Roma into the Roma Transit network. So we will navigate to the Roma Transit network and then on switching and switches, we will finally see our Catalyst 9300 switch in monitor only uh, on the dashboard. If we click on it, the beauty of this solution is that we have the same view of this Catalyst switch as we will have for any other Meraki managed switch. In this video, we have shown how easy it is to onboard a Catalyst switch in cloud monitoring using our cloud onboarding app. I hope you enjoyed the video and happy onboarding.